Alright, hi guys, this is US1 Programming with another C tutorial. Um, I just wanted to say something because, um, right now I'm going to cover a bunch of really basic, uh, C, uh, C fundamentals. So, I don't want to put it all into one, one video because then it may become too long for, uh, a person to watch so I'm now gonna split them into a bunch of really small videos and um henceforth I will try to keep the mic further from my mouth so you don't hear random breathing noises uh, in this video we'll be talking about directives which uh, usually come at the start of the program so we'll jump right in um, uh, directives always start with this hash uh, symbol if I told you in the last video if you remember I said um all Everything that starts with a hash, every line in the program that starts with a hash, is handled by the preprocessor. That's the first step in compiling. So, uh, whatever uh, these are called directives. So, if um if a, the preprocessor a preprocessor handles it, then it's called a directive, and uh, vice versa. So, um, right, there's a lot of other directives, but for now, we'll be focusing on two. Notice that I added one line. This is just so that I could demonstrate this because this one will be pretty common as well. So uh, I'll start with the hash include one. Uh, this is a uh, um, what this does is it basically tells you to tells the compiler to include this this file into um, and make the information that is contained in this file available to the rest of the program. So this file is called stdio.h. Um, what you'll notice from this is a lot of the names in uh, C are cryptic, so uh, if you want to learn C, get used to it. Um, so STDIO it stands for Standard Input Output. So basically, what this what this uh, file allows you to do is either put stuff on the screen for the user to read or uh, prompt the user for input and take values from the user, take numbers or strings or characters, etc. So um, Basically, this is just telling the the preprocessor to make this fi uh, the information in this uh, file available to the program. So, what by information I'm being a little bit vague. Um, I could say functions and uh, variables, but um, functions and variables are something that um, at least if you're if you haven't programmed before, you don't know what they are. So, I'll just say information for now. Functions and variables will be covered in later videos. So, um, then the next directive that we'll go to is hash define. And this one, what it basically does, or this is the simplest form, there is one other form which allows it to take arguments, but we won't go into that now. The simplest one is it just lets you make a constant. So you see, we're defining a constant n to be zero. So every time I say n uh, in, the, in the future of the program, it refers to zero. So the preprocessor will go and literally look for every s after seeing this line, it will look for every single time you say n and wipe out the n and replace it with a zero. So that's as simple as that. So you can use this for making constants. Like let's say um I was uh maybe doing uh Fahrenheit to Celsius conversion program. So then I might want to define a constant that I would multiply by um, to convert from Fahrenheit to Celsius. Like, I think it's 9 fifths or something. So, uh, I could just do Fahrenheit to Celsius and then uh, define it as 9 divided by 5. And uh, there's a very specific uh, template for all of this. There has to be a space between here and here. If you If you don't put that space in you there will be problems all right guys see you in the next video where i think i'll talk about functions maybe see you guys